Okay, at this point uh, I want to show you how to move a physical machine, a really currently operating machine. In this case, we're going to take a standalone Shortel server and move it while it's running to uh, a virtual machine. And then at that point, uh, we can turn off the one machine and run the other machine in a virtual environment. Very simple to do. We're going to say new, convert a machine. I'm going to say uh, I can either convert the machine that I'm on, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to pick a remote machine and say that uh, the Shortel server I have at this address. At these credentials. It needs to log in. And what it's going to do, it needs to go out there and install some software uh, to help uh, the process and it's asking do you want to uninstall that automatically or do it manually I'll say automatically and uh, it's going to take a minute or two to deploy the agent so while that's happening I'm going to pause the machine so we don't eat up our time that we've told the machine which one we want to copy we now have to tell it where we want to copy it to so I have another machine running here a virtual machine let me just minimize this for just a second so I can actually show you um, here it is this is the virtual machine as you'll see I have no machines this is the uh, Shortel uh, example that I showed in terms of creating a new virtual machine so this is the only one here and we're going to move an actual physical operating machine uh, from its present location and put it on this virtual machine. So let's go back here and uh, we're looking at the conversion client. We told it what we wanted to copy, now we're going to tell it where to copy it. And we have to provide our credentials. And uh, this takes a bit of time to do. Again, I'll pause the machine. Uh, so that you don't have to look at the spinning dial for a while, but uh, at some point it's going to um, give me some information to indicate that it has connected to both machines. So I'm telling it to go ahead and uh, connect to that machine. Let's take a look here. Um, these are the machines that are currently on it. Now let's go back here. I said 241. I don't want it to be 241. I want it to be 128, which is the virtual machine I showed you. And as you can see, nothing there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give it some basic information about the capacity. Uh, we're putting it on data store 2 got uh, one terabyte and let's go ahead and at this point the machine is actually going out verifying the destination partner preparing the next step it's uh, going to copy that entire operating physical server to a new one so um, we're going to go ahead and let that take place it'll probably take uh, an hour and a half to two hours to do this it's up and running and uh, We'll get some status indication. I'll check back with you periodically so that you can see how things are going. Just a quick update. You can see that we're still copying that machine. We're about 55% through. This is, uh, take a look at here. We started at 313. Uh, we have about 37 uh, minutes to go. So it's been about an hour. So again, we'll check back. Okay, as you can see, um, the, the conversion of the physical machine at this address has been moved to uh, the destination address of this IP address, which happens to be a, a virtual server.
So it's complete. It took about an hour and 15 minutes. Let's go take a look at how it landed on the other side. As you can see, the, the uh, copy process has been completed and we are now back over on the virtual machine. Uh, 192.168.12.128 over here on the host. As you can see, Hollywood.local has in fact been covered. Um, I took a, a moment uh, while the camera was off just to bring it up, save us time. Uh, but this is a complete replication of the machine that was previously operating and running uh, across the network. And just to show you, give you a feel for it, the fact that uh, the computer has completely replicated itself. You can see here, if I go here, uh, the shoreline data folder is intact. It's, uh, it's going to take a little tweaking on the virtual machine uh, to connect it with the virtual network drives and, and bring it up. Uh, but you have a completely operational Shortel virtual machine after the move. And as I said before, this will become the standard for disaster recovery and business continuity in the future. I hope you have found this uh, video informative and I thank you for viewing.